I have presented the uh, EU strategy for high performance computing. Three tracks of action. One track aims at acquiring by 2023 exascale supercomputing facilities in Europe. It's acquiring the system and acquiring the tools and building the applications around it. Our second track is enlarging the applications and developing the ecosystem around these exascale capacities. And our third track of action is on building the technology blocks in Europe, starting from the low power processor that is needed for exascale machines, going up to the system architecture and all the software development tools that are needed. HPC in Europe is widely used. We have very good strength in the applications and the tools and the software around high performance computing in Europe. But Europe has been uh, dragging a bit uh, comparison with our competing regions and our partners worldwide. We used to have two to three supercomputer centers with among the top 10 supercomputing facilities worldwide where today we have no one from the EU or no supercomputer in the EU among the top 10. Uh, that uh, can undermine on the long term our capacity to serve our scientific community to maintain their excellence and our capacity to have the knowledge in Europe for this technology to be exploited fully by our industry and by our public administrations to address our societal challenges. So our investments in this area today and our commitment to rebuild our exascale capacity or to build the exascale capacity in Europe is a way to make sure that we come back to the first league, to the top 10 supercomputing facilities worldwide, and we come back with as much as possible technology that is developed in Europe by industry and the academic community in Europe. Our strategy for the development of the exascale capacities in Europe is based on the achievement and price. It is based on co-investments to be done by the member states and investment that come from the EU level in order to build these capacities. It's built on cooperation and collective investment. This is where price come in. Prices one and now price two have shown the way how collaboration can work and how facilities that are supported by a, a certain number of member states can be beneficial for the whole European scientific community. It's a real example of how Europe can progress and our HPC strategy is really achieving the European dimension with collective investment and availability of the supercomputing facilities to all European scientists and to the industrial uh, fabric in Europe.